Live City. It's your man Joe Cleese with Sheez. Today's about to be off the heels, because I'm with Nas. Y'all know Nasty Nas. What's Nas up, man? Escobar, Queensbridge, representing. We're going to talk to him today about all the different facets of his life, because y'all seen him growing the rap game. So we're going to get into it. He got a new album out, and we are at the Sports Center in Chelsea Piers in New York to get our little boxing on and all that. So y'all stay tuned. It's about to be a rap city you won't forget, all right? All right. What you say? What you say? What you say? What you say? All y'all. All y'all. Yeah, all of y'all. Wait. <laughs> Let's talk about First of all, how you feeling? I'm feeling good, man. Everything you know, cool? Yeah, everything right. righteous, brother. All right, now check check game. Let's, let's, let's talk about the beginning of Nas and the rap game because it's, it's, it's uh, quite different than now. Right? Yeah, definitely. The rap game changed so much. I'm just happy to still want to do it. You know what I mean? Right. I still want to be involved with the whole thing. Do you still want to do it as much now as you did, like like with the live the BBQ joint or? Man, I think so. that was, I think when I first started, that was like 1991. Right. It was about just me being heard and just, you know, just trying to get out there. So I still remember those days with, at the Red Zone, Kick and Pre playing. Right. And, and, you know, I was just hungry trying to get on, you know what I mean? And um, I still love those days. And I love these days just as much because, you know, the, at the uh, level rap is at right now, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Do you think some of the, uh, some of your, you, you still pure with it? At like when like then, cause back then, you know, it was raw. You said you was hungry, it was raw, it was uncut. You think you still right there with it? Or has it got seasoned? I wouldn't say it got seasoned. It's like now you can have more fun with making a record for everybody. You could be in the Lou Rawls category. My mama died and my daddy got drunk. Whereas before it was all about repping your block. To my man Ill Will, God bless your life. To my people throughout Queens, God bless your life. It's still about repping your neighborhood, I think, but now you could make records, you learn how to make records that could actually be played forever, you know what I mean? Yeah. On mainstream radio. So, you know, we really get recognized as really a true music art form nowadays, you know? All right, cool. Hey, look, y'all stay tuned, because me and Nas gonna make it hot. We're gonna step up into the ring. We're gonna find out what's up with the new album, yeah. and some other stuff, some clothing lines and things. We'll be back, yeah. Rap City, Chelsea Pig. Hit it. Yeah, yeah. It's real. It's real. This the real joint. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. This right it's here. bouncing everything right. on this, right? This show hot. Yeah, I like this yeah. show right here. What's up with you? What's up with your acting career, man? Well, right now, that's on hold, man, you know, because of the album that it's been three years, and I've really been, you know, really been anxious to get the music out, you know what I mean? Fans or whatever listeners been telling me, put it out. So, I mean, I'll get back to that in a minute. I'm coming right. up with scripts now. I've been talking to a lot of dudes about doing some future stuff. I got a little small part in this movie, In Too Deep. A lot of guys in it, LL Cool J, um, Sticky, Jermaine Dupri, Omar Epps, Pam Greer. A little small part in it, but you know. That's nice. That's nice. I don't look bad on the resume. Nah, not that at all. That look real nice on the resume, not man. At all. Did you think when you started rhyming that uh, it would ever blossom into acting? Actually, I think when I, when I began to rap, I always wanted to do movies. Because, you know, my father plays jazz. Right. And, you know, he's my whole influence to make me want to be in the entertainment business. You know what I mean? So I always wanted to get into the film and theater yeah. and all of that because I, I, I grew up around it. Now, are you going to go serious with it? Try to get some Grammys out the joint? See, Will, like, let's put it this way. Will Smith went from rapper to Grammys. To yeah. back to multi platinum rapper. Yeah, it definitely. can happen. This is our time. I mean, I look at Ice Cube, I look at Kid and Play, Run DMC, Her. and movies is just a normal thing for artists. Look at Diana Ross and Barry Gordy, what they did with Mahogany, yes, The Wiz, did. and all of that. Yes, they made did. history, and it's just so, that's just our field. It's, and we're supposed to do these things, and I'm looking forward to doing it. All right, cool. Y'all stay tuned. Joe Cleves, Nas, Chelsea Pierce, New York. We yeah, back. Yeah. Hey, where the gloves at? Where the gloves? Where the gloves at? Give me some gloves. We need gloves. Give me some gloves.